Hi and welcome to the Abrasive Imaging YouTube channel. Today we talk about laser mask. Laser mask is a PVC free um, film material which is applied on the material before you start to laser. And um, what we're using here is a 40 watt laser and 100% speed. So you need to engrave it or to, to laser it twice. So uh, what, what we are going to transfer here is a half tone image. On the left side you will see a half tone, round half tone picture. And on the right side a coral, a Jarvis um, dither. So um, the reason why we are um, lasering it twice is at first we transfer the image and then the second step is to remove the residue from the stone. That's the only reason. Here you can see the light orange is the residue and later on you will see that we are going to remove the residue with the second lasering step. Um, if you want to transfer letters for example you don't need to laser them completely because it's really time wasting. So for portraits it's really needed but not for letterings. For letterings you just cut the outline with the laser and then you peel off the tape from the stone or any other engraving material. So you can work with laser, uh, laser mask on uh, stone, you can work on ceramic, on steel, on mirrors, on whatever you want to do. So here that's the second step. You see exactly how the CO2 laser removes the material and the residue from the polished stone surface. So that's, a, that, that's really the, the reason for the second step of lasering. If you, would, if you, won't, uh, if, if you wouldn't do that, you would run into troubles um, while sandblasting because the residue is still very tough to remove by sandblasting. So the best way is to, um, to laser it twice. And the reason is why we don't uh, so f why we don't need 60 or 80 watt uh, with one turn. So um, that would maybe um, create some difficulties in, in, in detail. So um, if you take too much heat, um, the film will melt, and so um, the the single spots of the half tone could possibly deform, and then you don't have a clear image later. So 40 watts and 100% speed, two times, that's it. So here I'm uh, using 100 watts and uh, I'm going a little bit uh, slower to cut an outline in the vinyl, so in the laser mask and into the stone itself. It's uh, just because I want to transfer also an outline with the sand blasting. It, it's uh, just a nice effect, just because of the effect, not, not because it's needed. like a stage carving letter. So the deep letters with a um, an outline around it. So here we are just cutting the letters with 40 water and 100 percent speed two times. It makes it much more easy to remove the, the letters later on. Just peel it off. Easy to do if you laser the letters pretty clean. There is no residue left. So you can see how to remove the parts to be sandblasted. There is no residue left. Very easy to, to peel off very fast. And if you would do a mistake here, it's not a problem because then you just have to remove everything. So just the letters and laser twice. And to work with the laser is very easy because you don't need to worry about the position laser. If you would have to replace anything, just code it again, put it into the laser and it will be on the same position. You see also the little dots, there is no problem to, to peel them off, nothing happens. Also the little details of the line, the inner part of the line.
that's it, ready to sandblast. So that's our sandblasting cabinet. So it's a pressure pot system. Um, we have a three millimeter nozzle, four bar and a grid side of 150. So we take a little bit more distance by sandblasting if we are sandblasting the portraits and if we go down to the ledges we can get uh, we can go a little bit closer to go faster deep into the material. So that's what I'm going to show you here. So just a little closer. And it's a really it's it's even if it's just 100 micron thick, I mean it's really tough. You can you can you can go very deep with 150 mesh for sure if you want to um, to take a 40 grit mesh or 60 or 80 or 100 or whatever um, you can you can uh, coat the laser mask twice three or four times or thicker then you can cut it and peel it off and then you have a thicker tape on your stone and then you can also go deeper and with the, with the other grid size. So here you, you see it's really easy to clean and it's a, it's a clear image. So a deep engraving of the letters. Very sharp, sharp edged and now we are going to color it. Um, coloring the stone it's um, much better with a sandblasted design instead of just a laser design because laser if you just uh, laser a, a half tone image into stone the material chips away so the, the, the ground is very very flat and very um, very even so a sandblasted ground is, is very uh, structured and perfect to to take the the, the the color the lacquer so what I'm doing here is I take a thick lacquer especially made for stone it's light gray don't like white because uh, it doesn't fit to the stone so um, looks printed then so light gray is perfect so I just polished the lacquer into the sandblasted areas to protect the image and that, that would not be possible with a laser image anyway. so that's the reason why we are lasering at first and then we are sandblasting so that's it so the image is protected it comes off right really clear bright and clear and um, even if it's wet outside you will still see it so that's um, what i'm going to show you here if you wetten up the stone the protected areas they are still there very sharp and uh, the wet areas you don't see them so and this is a sandblasted image so you see it much better than a, than a lasered image even the deep deeply sandblasted areas you see it so that's that's the effect so that's the reason why we color up just to get a clear image really nice detail so many thanks for watching and listening and uh, hope to hear from you soon bye